Hey guys, welcome to Wagwan Apps, and today we're going to talk about this big hoo-ha between, um, well, with Facebook and WhatsApp. So Facebook uh, bought WhatsApp, I don't know, a few years ago for a couple of billion, 3.2 billion or some jazz like that, which is obviously a lot of money, right? But probably for Facebook, it's pocket change. Anyway, so, so WhatsApp is owned by Facebook. Now, Facebook is saying in the last few days that um, they would like to share WhatsApp data with Facebook which allows them to better advertise or target advertising. Now, what kind of data does that mean? That means fo phone numbers and statuses and all that kind of stuff from WhatsApp. So that's your personal information. Now, there's a you know there's lots of legal bodies are looking into it. All the privacy groups are jumping up and down. Um, and the UK government is looking into it, or one of the departments of the UK government is looking into it to see whether it's legal in terms of data protection and stuff. But if you want to disable it, so what will happen is, is when you, this is an iPhone by the way, so once you update your iPhone, you'll get uh, something like this, you'll get like a, a terms and condition update. Okay, you can see there it says agree. So you say agree, okay? Then what you do, right, allow the pizza boy, then you need to go to settings and you need to go to account. Now, you can see straight away under account, Settings and account, you can see there's a little thing here which says share my account info. And if you look at the small, if you look at the small, uh, the small writing, it says share my WhatsApp account information with Facebook to improve my Facebook ads and products experiences. Your chat and phone number will not be shared into Facebook regardless of this setting. So they're saying that it won't be, but I've reading that you know things like personal information could go out anyway. So to disable it. Do this. Uh, if you don't, if you do not want to share your WhatsApp account information to improve Facebook ads or product experience, um, tap "Don't Share," uh, and you won't be able to change this in future. So once you do this, what will happen is, is and it did it on my Android device. Um, I went "Don't Share," and after that, it's basically uh, that's it. You're done. You're disabled. So now you can't even see the option. Look, it's gone. So once you pick it, that's it. Uh, once you say don't share, which I expect lots and lots of people will do, including me. I don't really care about Facebook ads that much. Um, so um, now you can disable it. But you have 30 days from the minute you say agree to the new terms and conditions. You have 30 days to opt out. If you don't opt out within 30 days, I think it will just stay on. That's that's my that's my impression of what they're saying. So you've got 30 days to do it. So make sure you get it done. We're going to also put up a video to show you how to do it on Android, uh, but that was pretty straightforward from an iPhone point of view. So uh, please like the video, uh, any comments and stuff, give us a shout on the, on the video. Peace out.